Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rants. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Chamont from Come On Now, the podcast. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for continuing to support our channel. Be sure to ring that bell, hit the share, like, comment. Those comments are the lifeblood of our posts and our videos. So please do jump on. We greatly appreciate your continued support. I got a rant today on Chini Ogumake, one of the Caitlin Clark lovers. I'm obviously being very, very sarcastic because I'm so confused by the inconsistency of these ESPN reporters and pundits who have chosen to make it their life's mission to discredit and devalue and knock down Caitlin Clark only to come back around later on and act like they never said what they said. Understand that everything that you say about somebody, there are receipts on this. If you're doing video, if you're doing uh, Instagram, if you're doing YouTube, if you're doing whatever you, if you're writing, whatever it is that you're doing, people have receipts. This is a, this is a generation that's, that's like no other. Where you can say something in 2014 on Twitter, and there's some weirdo that's going to go back and go find what you said in 2014 to sit here and say why you said today, oh, you're a hypocrite. I don't got to go to 2014 though. Because I can look back a month and a half ago. <laughs> it's not hard to find. And it's, and it's not hard to find because it was the consistent prevailing theme, theme and narrative that's been pushed by ESPN's hot take pundits for the WNBA when, when Caitlin Clark was left off of the roster. You know, the same people that are sitting here saying that, that Angel Reese should be the, the rookie of the year. So you, t- so you tell me, Chini, what changed? What changed in the last two months? When you went off on a tirade and, and rant about how she's played 11 games in 21 days and how she's tired and how she hasn't proven herself and how she hasn't done this and how she's done that and, and all those things, even though despite the fact that when the team was selected, she had better stats overall than every single guard in that team. But now, Chini, you come around and now your, your new comment, the most recent comment, she is the most impactful player that I've seen hit the scene. Not even just in basketball, but in sports in a generation. For how she moves the needle, not only with viewership, but business. And that rising tide lifts all boats. What? The rising tide lifts all boats. I want to hit on that particular comment. Why does the rising tide lift all boats? Because it's rising, right? Why was the rising tide going to help? How does Caitlin Clark, as the rising tide, help lift the boats in the WNBA, in the in the on the Olympic team? How does she do that? She does it because people turn on the damn television to watch her play. And what does that do for those other players that we've been talking about now for how many months? It helps them. It gets them recognized. It has people see them play. People had not seen them play because they weren't watching the games. But because... Caitlin Clark showed up. She was the rising tide that lifted all the boats. I personally now know who Kennedy Carter is because of Caitlin Clark. I knew who Arika Agumbawale was because I saw her play at Notre Dame plenty of times. But I didn't know anything about Kennedy Carter. I know who Kennedy Carter is now because of Caitlin Clark. That is the impact of Caitlin Clark. DJ Carrington. I know who she was from Baylor. I saw her play there. Does anyone know, but did any, did the average person know who the hell DJ Carrington was? No. The rising tide that made you know who DJ Carrington was is Caitlin Clark. There's a recurring theme in that, a theme that exists when people guard Caitlin Clark, when people compete against Caitlin Clark. They're getting seen. They weren't given this type of attention before her. So when you make this comment about the rising tide, you're literally acknowledging the exact very, the very exact thing that was talked about two months ago and a month ago on first take when St- Stephen A. Smith was going off and Shannon Sharp was going off about marketing. You're acknowledging the marketing, yet you fight the marketing. But you're just fighting marketing for some ridiculous reason that no one really knows. However, at the same time, fighting against yourself. This Olympics would be covered at a much different level if Caitlin Clark were on that team. I don't care what anyone says. It would be covered differently. It'd be covered differently by the U.S. It would be covered differently by international. It would be covered differently across the board. Right now, 
You don't even know when the Team USA plays unless you're searching for it. You have no idea. You really don't know. Unless you're looking, you, you, don't, you won't find it. Most people don't have the time to do all that. If Kaitlyn Clark were playing, they'd be pushing the schedule out much harder than they are right now. They're, they're not pushing it. Like, I have no idea when these games are being played unless I look. But the fact that she says it lifts all boats, the rising tide lifts all boats, yet you fought. You, you, you fought the exact same thing you're talking about. You, you're fighting it. You're fighting the reality. And the reason I, why I say for a generation is because I have lived the experience. So she is the she has done, been the most impactful in a generation. And she's compete. I played against Maya Moore. I played against Candace Parker. I played against Diana Taurus, and particularly most of those in the WNBA. And my big sister, like my mentor, not even when I talk about basketball, is Lisa Leslie. Yet she's sitting here telling you that now, now, Caitlin Clark is the most impact of anyone in a generation, including all of these players that she just mentioned. But yet she's going to sit here and get on television and tell you that she thinks Angel Reese is the rookie of the year. She's going to get on here on television and tell you that this double-double streak of, of padded bullshit was really real. She's going to sit on here and tell you that, oh, she needed the rest because the game in the international game is too physical. Like all these absurd comments about, about her. And now all of a sudden she's the most impactful. We've been telling you that. We've been saying it now for, for months, not even weeks now. It's months. There would be 10 million people watching the Olympics right now per game if Caitlin Clark were playing. For team for the WM for the team USA, gymnastics draws 10, 11 million people. Gymnastics. She would be drawing 10, 11 million people, 10 million people per game right now if if she were playing on this team. And you can't sit here in, in any way and sit here and tell me she's not better than these players. The numbers are telling you what it is. I mean, heck, I, I mean, Diana Taurasi hasn't scored a point since game one. I don't think. I don't think she scored a point since the first game. Chelsea Gray, I don't know that, I don't know that Chelsea Gray scored, hasn't scored a point since the first game either. Let's take a look real quick. Because neither of them scored yesterday. Neither of them scored. But, I mean, it's it's bananas. Like, if you look at this stuff, let's see, let's see they played on... They, they play. What day did they play? Play the first then. Against Belgium. Against Belgium. Zeros. So back to back games, your starting guards scored zero points. Scored zero points. Back to back games. And you're going to sit here and tell me that that was a better option than Caitlin Clark. Your starting guards, zero points in the last two games between the two of them. It, it, is, it is utterly laughable to, to read this because, you know what, well, it just shows that all you're doing on ESPN is lying. That's, that's what kills me. Is all it does is show on ESPN that you're lying. Because if you say this separately of ESPN First Take or one of the shows on, on ESPN that you're appearing on, you seem to tell the truth more because there's less of an audience. But when you go on a, in front of a big audience, your, your story, your the narrative changes, the story changes, and now all of a sudden it's, she's tired, she needs a break, she's not physical enough, she's not this, she's not that. There's, there's all kinds of issues. People were saying, and, and, then, and then they're saying stuff like, well, who would you take off of this team to put her on? Any one of them, like I said before, any one of them would be taken off. Why would I keep any one of these players over her? I know what my offense will look like with her on the floor. It'd be a layup drill. If they're scoring what they're scoring right now, with what they're with what they have right now, if they're scoring what they have, scoring as they are right now, I think a team with Caitlin Clark is going to average over hundred a game because they're going to be running a track meet. It'll be the most. It'll be the most. It would have been, been the most fun Asia Wilson and Brianna Stewart have ever had playing basketball, because all they've been doing is getting layups. But Chinia Gumake is the newest one. Chinia Gumake's fraud has now been exposed, just like Drea Carter's fraud was exposed. 
It's like all the frauds were exposed. The frauds left and right, they're all exposed. Because when they go south, when they go elsewhere, and they're not on first take, they're they're t- they're tuned and their narrative change. You know, so what what do you think, folks? What what are your thoughts of these comments from Chini Agumake? I mean, kind of kind of ironic that you know she uh said all these things just two months ago, but now all of a sudden Caitlin Clark is the most impactful player of a generation, and you didn't think she should be on the Olympic team, and you don't think she's the rookie of the year. Miss me with the bullshit. Leave a comment and leave a comment for us to let us know what you think. Like, subscribe, and comment. Ring that bell. Come on now.